plaintiff, Cheryl Wade, says a few months after she started dating the defendant, she discovered he was addicted to cocaine. Cheryl claims the defendant started leaving her belligerent, threatening voicemails, which she has in court today. And she's suing for the value of a minivan and emotional distress. Defendant Anthony Mudd Sr. regrets leaving Cheryl those voicemails and insists he only did so because he was under the influence of alcohol. Anthony's counter suing for pain and suffering. Start with you. Your Honor, first I want to start off by saying, um, you know, um, I met Tony in September 2012. I didn't know he was addicted to alcohol and a powder. What, that a bathing powder? powder? Yeah, yeah. bathing. Yeah. <laughs> But he puts on the, a lot of baby powder. powder every day. Oh, what was he doing? <laughs> Cocaine powder. Oh, you're okay. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. You're on. I just only known him like three months, maybe a little bit after three months here, and uh, he was very controlling. And, you know, he was very manipulated. You don't have to use cocaine to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, Your Honor, you know, it was, you know, it was his behavior change and stuff like that, you Did know? Did every now and then start talking rapidly and his eyes <laughs> big? And... Well, Your Honor, it... Your Honor, this guy was... You know, he was really control. He was mean to me. I got recordings. You know, some of, some of the. Oh my God! It's really embarrassing for you to hear some of the negative things. Is this part of your emotional distress? Yes, it is. And All right. You want me to hear some of that now? You can, Your Honor. If I ever hear you talk about my cousin, you and your little fat little brother here, I get y'all door kicked in. I ain't did nothing to you or him. Let my name taste like. Your mouth, you dope fiend. I guess you're too busy to answer your phone. You better give me a call back if I run up on you and do a Rambo. <laughs> you're not available right now. you get back with me. Oh, I guess man. it took you this long to get on. Man, I don't trust you as far as me seeing you, man. Best thing you can do, man, is let my name taste like in your mouth, because I don't trust you. Uh, sir, you give me some background, and you want to address what she yes, sir. just First said of all, since we've jumped there? When I was messing with her, she knew that I had a lady friend, and then things went on and it progressed, and she would get in line and do whatever it takes just for me to spend time with her. But then due to them times there, that's the times which I say I was under the influence of alcohol, and I've never put my hands on it. I despise all the things that I have said. She didn't and, say you put her hands on it. Well, I'm but just those, saying those for threats, those to be sir. threats, yeah, yeah, well. What was that about? What was that, that was, whole, I heard that you was, say something about another person. All of this, like, recorded back to back to back to back. I guess every time I called it was because it was I three know, different scenarios. I know, but what scenarios. had happened to provoke Well, this? the first time, like I said, it I'm was something giving you a about. chance to explain yourself, sir. Otherwise, you sound like a lunatic that needs to be jailed. Right. Well, I didn't do anything to be jailed but use my vulgar mouth, and I do apologize. Right. Why? Why did you do all this to the woman? It was different what? scenarios, Your Honor. I didn't do it all in one time. It was like a, she would do something prior that day. I did something it's the not next true, night. Your Honor. It's all in consistent. Is you what want I'm to say saying. Say something, sir. Stand up. State your yes, name. Yes, sir. My name is Thomas Mitchell. When I met Miss Wade and uh, she was going with Tony, both of them had all the reason why we're here. But she brought up the fact that he was on drugs and alcohol. But she didn't bring up the fact that she paid for it. She That's not her, true, Your Honor. She would take her money, like That's the not tennis true, shoes Honor. he's wearing now. 175. She paid for. His insurance he left on his car. Okay, have a seat. We're not yeah. talking about that okay. yet. But she That's would the pay minivan for most she's of what suing he, you for. Yeah. But you're saying that she would pay for the drugs. Right. So she was part of that whole scene. And I right. did hear you call her a dope fiend. She just came out and were you using she's drugs out of recovery, as well? No, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, so why I, would he call you a dope fiend? Uh, Your Honor, June the... June the no, no, I no, am, clear that up. Why uh, would he call you a dope fiend? Your Honor, I'm nine years sober. I'm, I'm nine years... And that's why I didn't that, say I'm that. Nine, there I'm you nine go. I'm nine years clean, Your Honor. You, all right, at least you're honest about it. God, I'm good nine, I'm nine years now clean. Now I understand. I'm glad to nine hear that, Nine years too. and proud right. of it. Good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Good. What else you want me to know? I have gave him a chance to, like, poof, be gone. You, 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 honey, it's like, uh, what is wrong with me? Am I fat? Am I ugly to you? Because you don't have no reason, none whatsoever, to treat me like this. So, okay, Your Honor, um... Ma'am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, 
Is it not true that alcoholics get belligerent for no reason at all? Yeah. Well, then that's why. But you was an uh, alcoholic and get drunk and get belligerent. That's what they do. They drink it and, you know, they find one day. Could you go to the store and get me a little liquor? And you all sitting there and you're taking a little nip and then they just turn it up and all that and they get sloppy drunk and then suddenly you. Don, don, you low down out of nowhere. And you said, where did that come from? Oh, and you're you're like, where did that come from? Because he's drunk now and belligerent. And that's just what I went through, Your Honor. I was sitting there you... playing cards, everything is fine. <laughs> hit, 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 then suddenly, you low down. Oh, <laughs> that's because he's gotten drunk, ma'am. And that's what people do. They get drunk and belligerent. That's the big deal. Yeah, but there. Your Honor, that's even just the most Ma'am, you know he was drunk. You should have known he was a drunk. <laughs> Keep acting all pitiful so like you don't. Know, you know, how long were you a dope fiend? About 10 years. Well, then don't play me okay. crazy. You know what that is. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Your Honor. Yes, I don't know why he did me like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm the choir lady. I lead Bible study. I always have all my life. I've never seen anybody like him. Go ahead. Your Honor, um, <laughs> on, uh, Janu, um, Sir, sit up, man. Don't nod out got, here, got, man. Got, okay. <laughs> January, um, <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, your back hurt? Is yeah, that... I got a bad back. That'll be on all right. On January uh, the 8th. Do your best, man, to right. sit up. Right. Your Honor, on January the 8th, we were, you know, uh, out doing some, doing some stuff, and, uh, there was not, he had what some stuff? Good, Doing, some, taking some, doing some errands and stuff, oh, okay. you know. All but right. this, and this particular day, he was, a, he had a sober day, you know. Okay. You know, I, you know, we was in my car. Let him drop me off at work, Your Honor. And I got off at ten. No Tony, no car. He wasn't answering his phone. Okay. So, you know, after not answering the phone after 10, 15 times, you know, I'm, I'm just like, this is it, you know. Just stick mm -hmm. a fork at me because this person is done. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want my car mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so for him ultimately to... ultimately did you find out? He was in jail and my car was totaled. Totaled? Yeah. How? What did you find had happened? I, uh, I can, I, can I present the yes, police please. report to you, Your Honor? And tell me, though, what did you find out? Occurred that he uh, he was drunk two point point two one three and he was smelled of alcohol and could not stand up. Well, he can't stand up in here. I was, <laughs> I, I'm my eyewitness. To, I'm my eyewitness to that. <laughs> I'm my eyewitness to that. <laughs> hey, Kept falling on the vehicle he was driving. Yes, sir. Your Honor, I was driving her van under the influence that she had automobile insurance due to the fact of all the things she'd done to me. <laughs> And they're due to the fact of her not having any insurance, I, I passed out. That's, that's what happened. Oh, that caused you. No. Her having no insurance caused you no, to no, pass out. No, no, no. The out. reason why for me passing out, you said what happened to her van, I passed out and wrecked it. And you passed out why? There wasn't no reason why I just passed out. There wasn't no reason why. I was at her, you, I was you in You weren't a, drinking? No, sir. You weren't under the influence of alcohol? I had two drinks, Your Honor. And that 2.3 cannot... And that did not cause you to pass out? No, sir, Your Honor. So you weren't arrested in... Uh... I was arrested. Okay, and, but you got and... off. All right. So, no, ma'am, he Wait. got... Can he explain it to you? No, he you can't know? do anything. He a lawyer? No, sir. All right. Well, no, you no, can sir. tell me. You did not get off? On the DUI, it's still under investigation, Your Honor, but I pled oh. guilty to... I'm taking the alcohol classes and doing everything prior What's to... What's under the investigation, then? then? The Internal Revenue... Internal Affairs is under investigating the slip the and fall. To see what? The slip and fall in the jail as far as me being unconscious with the black yeah, eye. Yeah, we're not talking about that. We're talking about one thing. Yes, sir. You, driving drunk, whether you were convicted of it, that's what we're trying yes, to sir, stop. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Okay, so why don't you think you should have to pay for it? Well, I was thinking uh, uh, since the, the law in, um, in Louisville, Kentucky, you had to have automobile insurance. Mm -hmm. And then with her not having automobile insurance, mm -hmm. I was willing to pay the $500 deductible for the mm -hmm. her red car and the two red cars. Mm -hmm. So then come to find out That's she's taking me to Quiet. small claims court. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, the heck with you. I'm not going to fool with you Well, no I got more. news for you, sir. You're the one that was driving illegally. That was negligence. You're responsible for her van.
Now, how much was your van Here's damaged? the blue book estimate. valley of my van. And here's a, here, I got a you text message. You have any pictures message. of it? Yeah, I got a text message also where he would tell me that he How many did... times you've been to rehab, sir, if at all? Your Honor, yes, look I'm at this, Your Honor. Look now, at his police history, Your Honor. Let's I see. mean, like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, my God. Don't say that. I ain't serious. I couldn't believe it, Your Honor. And I wouldn't, ain't no doggone way in the world that I would do that, Tony. I wouldn't do, and then on top of this, Tony, you, how baby, in the world? you don't even have to talk to me, baby. We are okay, done. Okay, cool, I won't talk you to you. You take me back tomorrow. I'm not, I'm, I'm through with it. You have nearly 50 arrests. Ooh. 50 arrests, is yes, that dated sir. from what, 18? And 10 DUIs. You got 50. 10 DUIs. From what date to when? Ain't nobody asking what they can win. <laughs> 50, that's all it is. Whether it's 100 years, it's 50. <laughs> and the part, you know, Your Honor, he all gets right, ma'am. Your emotional distress is for what? Just, Your Honor, it's just so stressful getting. That was one of the, the voicemails. Ma'am, you knew what you were dealing with a dope fiend. You gave the man your car, you did this and that and the other, you kept him, you kept giving him chances and chances and chances. That's the risk you take, ma'am, when you give a drug addicted or alcohol addicted person chance after chance. You get the chance that you're going to be burned over and over, and it's going to cause you emotional distress over this and is... over. Oh, go right. ahead, 1000 for pain and suffering. How does she owe you? <laughs> Due to the fact of the fear, y'all, I got... Well, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm blessed with whatever it is, Jonna, but I'm, I'm still here. But um, as far as the pain and suffering, I was thinking due to the fact that no automobile insurance and I got injured myself. <laughs> You're right, he didn't go. I give you the value. I give you the value of your car, ma'am. I, I give you the blue book value of your car. All right. Good luck to you, Justin, for the plane. If your claim is this, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, uh, wish her well. That's it. I, I got what I came for. It's, he be okay.